Good morning. Today is the 8th of May. I'll be sharing the devotion from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. The scriptures that accompany this devotion are John 16, 33, Isaiah 41, 13, and Philippians 4, 13. Do not long for the absence of problems in your life. That is an unrealistic goal, since in this world you will have trouble. You have an eternity of problem-free living reserved for you in heaven. Rejoice in that inheritance, which no one can take away from you, but do not seek your heaven on earth. Begin each day anticipating problems, asking me to equip you for whatever difficulties you, are, you will encounter. The best equipping is my living presence, my hand that never lets go of yours. Discuss everything with me. Take a lighthearted view of trouble, seeing it as a challenge that you and I together can handle. Remember that I am on your side and I have overcome the world. My favorite part of this devotion is where it says, do not seek your heaven on earth. This life is a life to develop us, to help us grow into the people that our Father in Heaven created us to become. We have divine potential. And He sees that in us. That's why He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to come and atone for our sins die on the cross to take up his body and break the bands of death and hell so that we can regain his presence. Something that I've noticed that is constant counsel throughout the scriptures and has been throughout this devotion is the need to communicate with the Lord. In this, today's devotion, it is written, talk to me about everything. That implies that it's not just a good morning, Lord, how you doing? Please bless me this day. That's, and then good night. In Jesus' name, amen. That's, that's not what it says. Talking to him about everything is truly developing a relationship with him. And this is life eternal. To come to know thee and thy son. <laughs> to know not to know of, but to know requires communication. And that's not a lot to ask for us to communicate with him. It's what we would expect from our children, right? Talk to me, let me guide you, let me give you instruction and set the example for you. Well, that's what our Savior has done. He set the example. I know that if we will try to communicate with him, he will communicate with us. It's a two-way street. He will hold you up. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Have faith in that. Have confidence in that. I am so in love with Jesus Christ. He's done so much for me, and I know that he can do so much for you. If there's anything that you stand in need of, I, I promise you that if you talk to him about it, you will receive comfort. Peace be with you today, my friends, and I pray that his spirit be poured out upon you. If you stand in need of comfort, I pray for your comfort. If you need strength, I pray for your strength.